coach, it just ticks me off and I work all the harder. And I know my players are with me, I know my coaches are with me, and I know the good fans are with me. I really love this place. I don't feel good about letting this place down or any of the people even in this room down. And I'm a fighter and I'm going to fight like a mother. And speaking of fighting, it looks like Tyler Gronke's thumb may live to fight another day. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. X-rays done on the UH Warrior senior quarterback's injured throwing hand came back negative, according to Gronke, showing no fracture and thus keeping his hopes alive to play against San Jose State in a couple of weeks. If he cannot go, however, Coach Mack today at his news conference said he will not name another starter at the position until the day before the next game. Also, senior offensive lineman Keith Asun, who, like Gronke, left Saturday's 45 seven road loss to Oregon State with an injury had an MRI performed on his knee today. The results should be made known tomorrow. As for the team's performance, it wasn't exactly unlikely that the UH Warrior football team would be one and two through three considering games at Florida and at Oregon State in the first three weeks. But it's the way it's gone down that is of concern. Hawaii scored just two touchdowns against both the Gators and the Beavers. Their last in Division 1A football in turnover margin, among the worst in kickoff and punt coverage, and partly because of that, 109th out of 120 Division 1A teams in scoring defense. But head coach Greg McMackin says it's still way too early to throw in the towel. We got beat. Uh, it's not fun to get beat. Uh, the defense w was on a lot of plays. Uh, we got our quarterback hurt. We got two running backs hurt. Uh, we got our, one of our best offensive linemen hurt. We didn't quit. Absolutely we didn't quit. I believe in these players. I believe in these coaches. This team, this team won't quit. And if somebody did quit, I'd, I'd get rid of them. I hope our fans don't quit uh, because our kids aren't going to quit. Warriors have a bye this week before hosting Dick Tomey's San Jose State Spartans on the 27th. Here's Robert, and he's not happy, and Coach Mack not making excuses. Uh, he's not. After losing on the road to Oregon State Saturday, UH head football coach Greg McMackin understandably a bit terse today. This isn't my first luau. You know, I was here in 99 when SC kicked our ass. As a coach, it just ticks me off, and I work all the harder. And I know my players are with me, I know my coaches are with me, and I know the good fans are with me. And I'm sorry for my surly uh, attitude. Really love this place. I don't feel good about letting this place down. And I'm a fighter, and I'm going to fight like a mother. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. And the Warriors, 45-7 loss to the Beavers. Many problems exposed, like just 211 yards of total offense. Head coach Greg McMackin says the answers starts with rolling up his sleeves and getting after it. We are going to run the run and shoot. And that, that means that we're going to throw the ball first and we're going to run the ball when the run, when we set up the run. We need to get our offense back on the football field. And uh, offensively, we've got to stay on the football field. Max says he met with his team captains this morning, met with his coaching staff afterward, addressed all issues, including attitude. But maybe the biggest cause for concern, special team. Warriors are struggling in both kickoff and punt return. And kicker Dan Kelly just one for four in field goal attempts. We're going to film him. We're going to, uh, we're going to do everything we can to get him kicking correctly and we're going to put somebody behind him and just like any other position uh, give him some competition. Quarterback Tyler Grunke's injured right thumb and wrist. X-ray showed no fractures today. Offensive lineman Keith Asun meantime. MRI results on his left knee are due back tomorrow. Defensively after three games, Mack has high praise for lineman Josh Leonard and David Vecune. Josh Leonard uh, had three tackles for losses. David Vicuni played 81 plays and ran his tail Rogers, off. He was all over the field. Uh, Solomon and, and uh, Adam Leonard played their, played their tails off. You know, right now we're a beat up, uh, tired football team. This, this buy has come at a good time where we can, like I said, roll up our sleeves and get the, get the ship righted. And that's what we're gonna do. After this bye week, Warriors kick off wax, uh, whack play next Saturday versus San Jose State. Hmm.
Wow. Coach Mack not happy today. Yeah, not at all. And, and more so, he says, because he takes full responsibility mm -hmm. and he feels like he's letting down the Hawaii fans. Yeah, well, yeah. He, They've got two weeks to recover, yeah. right? And he's got big problems. Forget about the fans right now. Yeah. And, uh, he's going to address his problems. And you're Warrior head football coach Greg McMacken says his team is tired and beat up. Tyler Gronke has a hand injury, and Keith Osun may have torn knee ligaments. But for McMacken, it's more than just injuries causing him pain after a 45-7 loss against Oregon State. And he says fans are part of his remedy. After the ball game, uh, I felt bad that we lost because it's so important for us to win for the people of Hawaii. But now's when we need your help. A fourth week bye couldn't come at a better time for the Warriors. They're banged up on offense and defense, and special teams needs a lot of fixing. Right now, we're last in the country in punt return. We're last in kickoff return. And, uh, you know, I mean, we've got to get better than that. That's unacceptable. Coach Mack says he will make personnel changes and work the special teams full speed in practice this week. Now the entire team must find a way to put it all together when they return to Aloha Stadium on the 27th for a conference showdown against Dick Tomey and the San Jose State Spartans. We've had three games of game reps, and so we've learned from that. And we have to get better, and now we start the league. That's when we really need the fans. McMacken realizes some fans are starting to give up hope, but he wants to reassure everyone and put the loss into perspective. This hadn't hurt us a bit. If we would have won this game, we're still not going to a BCS game. We can still win the WAC, and we can still go to a bowl game. Let's stay on board. Let's believe in us and get going. Now, Coach Mack also says if quarterback Tyler Gronke can't play against San Jose State, he won't make a decision on who the starter will be until the day before the San Jose State game. The Spartans play Stanford this week before coming here to the islands. I heard people talk, and I know a lot of guys, are, a lot of people are jumping off ship. This is when we really need our fans because, you know, four out of the last five years we've been one and two. One and two. Four out of the last five years. Last year was the only year we haven't been one and two. That was part of Coach Greg McMacken's opening statements at his weekly press conference today as he puts perspective on his team's record as for the status of starting quarterback Tyler Grunke. According to the Honolulu Advertiser, x-ray tests on Grunke's hand were negative. The senior hand is still swollen and he can't even shake hands, but Grunke believes he will be ready to play San Jose State in two weeks. He hurt his hand in Saturday's 45-7 loss at Oregon State and left the game in the third quarter. If his hand remained swollen, it might have ligaments damage that will require an MRI. As for UH's season low 211 yards of total offense against the Beavers, Coach Max says replacing nine starters will take a while, but Hawaii plans to stick to a heavy air attack. But we are going to be an attacking offense. We are going to throw first. Uh, I don't want to take, uh, to put the, I want to put the pedal to it and throw the ball first and run the ball second and uh, when we set it up with the past. In addressing special teams with Puch Oregon State in UH's 50 for four of its scoring drives, Coach Max says the Warriors have addressed that by making some personnel changes and added to the competition for some of those positions as well.